I'm Dr. Holder with another edition of Your Health and You. Unfortunately, many of the counties in this area received um, some of the lowest rankings in the state with regards to health outcomes. Uh, for example, there are higher rates of premature death, um, lower quality of life scores, and more people that report that they're in poor health overall. Um, and many of the counties in the Delta region actually were in the lowest 20% of the state. We face a number of health factors in this area that can affect our health outcomes. Uh, so we have less um, access to healthy food choices and exercise opportunities. Uh, we have higher rates of smoking and obesity. Um, and specifically in the Delta, those uh, people face um, more significant economic challenges and so that makes it harder for them to access medical care. Well, those higher rates of smoking and obesity and um, fewer options to make healthy behavior choices can translate into higher rates of diabetes and heart disease um, and certain cancers. And then if you combine that with being unable to access medical care, uh, those conditions can go undiagnosed and untreated and then that results in higher rates of premature death and poor health. One of the best ways to address um, this issue is access to care. So recruiting physicians to practice in these areas um, and providing um, outreach clinics and free health screenings and then health fairs that can educate people on the importance of uh, good health care. And we're very hopeful that the um, new NYIT Medical School on the ASU campus and um, the DO Medical School will um, assist in this problem by training physicians in this area and then hopefully they will choose to stay here and practice. And then there's a newer field of medicine that's growing in this area called telemedicine, which allows patients to stay in their hometown and um, have access to a physician, say a cardiologist here in Jonesboro, by using the internet and um, cameras. My recommendation would be to establish care with a primary care physician and to see them regularly so that you can receive all the recommended screenings for high blood pressure, diabetes, and certain cancers. Um, if you're unable to do that, I would say seek out any free health clinics or screenings and really take advantage of those. This is Dr. Holder. Thank you for watching.